We shout a caca, folks. Johnny Lion, Homo Depot. Shout a caca. All right, so look. Today, no, yes, it's Diddy. <laughs> I said it's Diddy. Oh, my boy, my boy Hootie right there. I said it's Diddy. It's Diddy. <laughs> um, I, I pulled this bass up. Um, this bass came out to the shop and it, I played it. it it's it's a 2009, because I wrote it down right there. 2009. <laughs> I wrote it on the wall. It's a 2009. And when it came in the shop, um, it, it played, it played, it played good. Look, it played good. Um, and you know, and I, I picked it up and I played. It. I said, "Well, guys, I gotta clean it. I gotta, you know, make sure take everything off. Make sure she get a recon." And <clears throat> I want to say this, folks, when you and and this is this is amazing advice for me. That's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, when you get a base in, like I said, you have to check the whole base over, check for cracks on the, you know, truss rod and stuff like that. Make sure you take your truss rod and bend it back and forth. And make sure you got a good good amount of play on it. Look at your bridge. Once again, always check the bridge out. Make sure you got all the screws in it. We don't even do that. A lot of people don't even do that when they get their bases. Check your bridge and see if they got a lot of screws in it and check and see if the same screws. Um, check in the back of your headstock, you know, check and make sure all your tuners got screws in them, that kind of thing. And if you can get your screwdriver and tighten up, tighten the tuners up a little bit, check it, you know, check, check for all the nuts and bolts. That's what you got to check for nuts and bolts. All right. The main thing I want to tell you guys about is always take your pit guard off. And you'd be like, what? <laughs> Why? I'm like, cause I'm going to tell you. You always take your pit guard off because you never know what's hiding underneath that pit guard. All right? It could be some not nice things. <laughs> Look. That's one of them eat moments. Eat. Not nice things. So, as clean as this base was when it came in yesterday, um, I was just going to recon it and put new strings on it and set it up and stuff like that. Make sure she's nice and piratey. Partyful. Look, party. That, that's not a word, is it? Partyful? Partyful is not a word. I just made that up. Nice and partyful. So, um, after I did that, I took the pit guard off and I got a surprise. It was not a good surprise. So, it is, but it's a fixable surprise, surprise if you are a repairman, Luther slash Luther, what do you want, you know, want to be? So I took the pit guard off, and when I did, I found this underneath of it. You see what that is? That is another pickup hole. So what they did, they got some, some putty. They, they routed the hole out. I'm going to leave it right there. And then they took this piece of block of wood, and they put this block of wood in it, and took some bonding putty and bonded it up, and then slapped the pit guard back over it. To look at it, you'd be like, I don't see no problem because you ain't took the pit guard off. So what I did, da, 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 da. <laughs> look, that, that, that was a good one. Da, 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 da. All right, so what I did is took the pit guard off. When I took it off, I was like, Eek. so I had to fix it. So what we're looking at today, isn't that crazy? So, so let me tell you, let me tell you what I did, right? You, you got to see this. You got to see this. All right. So, so underneath the pit guard, it was all routed out for another pickup. All right. Obviously they didn't, they didn't like where it was because the, the, the mainstay of a pickup is probably right here. That's the mainstay, but somebody routed something else, tried to route, start routing something else out and they didn't like it or they wanted another position and didn't quite get it. I'll leave it right there. So what I did was I took my router, I went underneath and I routed it out again and routed out the faceplate. Now, when I routed out the faceplate, I had to route it out for, cause I had these, EM, these are EMGs. I had them sitting over there in a box and I kept thinking for months, what can I do to these EMGs? Where can I put them? Where can I put them? And see, God, God, God had a purpose. So, 
what he did was he, he they stayed over there and then this project came in and when it came in all i did was route it out the faceplate put that pickup in it route it out you know and make sure it was really neat um and then put it in same music man preamp i didn't take the preamp out so you're thinking, so what did you do? How are you going to go between the two? I don't want to go between the two. I want to make whatever's there better. All right? So I took this pickup out. This is the original Music Man pickup. This is the one that was in. This is a 2009. That was the one in there. I took that one out put this one in. So it has the same volume, um, treble, mids, and bass. Same, you know. It's beautiful now because you can see all the sparkles and stuff in it. But, um, you know, it's same nine volt. You know, she looks a lot beautiful. You look a lot beautiful, girl. From head to toe, she looks beautiful. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. So, today we're going we're gonna to tune it up. And I want you guys to hear. Now, what do you, what do you expect to hear? Oh, I expect to hear just a regular music, man. Since you ain't doing anything special, like put switches on it, and uh, you know, put a, um, uh, you know, a, a, what do they call it? Huh? Oh, a balancer. <laughs> I had asked myself, what do they call it? A balancer. All right. So I put a balancer. In. I didn't put a balancer in. It, so I just, you know, catch me like, eh, I think it sound all right. No, you you about to get blown away. All right, so first thing I want to do is tune it up, all right? Because it's sitting in the shop, and so before I even hook it up, let you hear, I'm going to tune it up. I'm going to get my little trusty cord. Skew me, Hootie. Skew me. Skew me. <laughs> hey, y'all seen Hootie's latest video where he was out there and a squirrel gave him the backside? Oh, that was ugly. He just sat there and took it. He talking about something. At least he's working. <laughs> he... All right, so look. All right, so we're going to tune it up. <clears throat> Check out tuning. Oh, sorry. Ooh, look at that. All right, one more time. Acoustically, this bass is amazing. Acoustically. So if you can hear it. And it's amazing that a music man sound like a music man acoustically. Am I using the right word acoustically? Acoustically, a music man sounds like a music man. All right. So we're going to take this and put this over here. Keep that over, over there. We're going to put this back. And we're going to crank up the LA-12. Folks, we're going to crank with no horn in it. <laughs> Look, no horn. I mean, like people are like, what are you going to put the horn in to do? Soon. Uh oh. We heard it already. All right, we're going to turn everything back. And we're going to hear naturally what this bass sounds like. Uh, should, I, should I get higher so you guys can see it? I should, shouldn't I? Okay, where's my where's my stool at? That's over there. All right, so let's, let's do this. We're going to get higher. Higher, higher, higher. Move this out the way. Okay. okay, stuff is dropping. That's a good sign. <laughs> Look. Well, we gotta move that out. Because I really want you guys to see the bass. So, I'm gonna slide this away a little bit. Move this chair out. Put you over here. And then put you over there. See, the stool makes me get higher. My seat don't go that high. So I have to get higher so you guys can see the bass. Like, is he gone? <laughs> Look, is he gone? No, he ain't gone. He's right here. All right. Woo! Okay, here we go. Move this out of the way over there. This is the bass. All right, so now we got the bass, nothing on. pickups are working at the same time you can hear more top end because it's growling harder harder now and that's that e 
same G sound. That. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, we're going to start dialing stuff in. Check it out now. Check it out. Check it out. We're going to start dialing stuff in. All right, so let's dial in trouble at D10. Once again, I got to keep telling y'all, ain't no horn in this cab. Let's dial some men in the D10. Now, let's dial in bass at D10. Now, you hear that extra bear underneath that? underneath, man, it growl. Oh my goodness. Everything that was there is now shot up to the roof. It's it's just it's just oh Let's go to trouble. Let's go three quarters on trouble. Triple steroids. I mean, if you've been looking for, if you wanted your music man to get even more music manically, that's not even a word. Music manically. I said music manically. But listen at the piano. That's the E. Oh my God. Mid guys, so I'm gonna pull the mids back. Let's take the mids all the way back. Let's take the trouble. Let's take the trouble all the way. See what happens. But the thing that you don't get is that they ain't got no horn in that speaker, y'all.
I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. This is like a gunmetal, it's, it's like a gunmetal um, gray. Now, I'm glad I had the red EMGs because there's red in this gunmetal. You can't really see it, but there's red in there. And that those pickups bring that red out. The pick guard is cream. I wish I had cream, but then again, it wouldn't pop as hard, I think, as the red against the gray as the red does. Once again, folks, out of the Hobo Depot! Mm. This is amazing. This base is amazing. Once again, y'all, I want to thank everybody for uh, you guys are are you guys are blessing my household tremendously. Um, you're sending prayers, prayers. You, you, you're sending good vibes. You're 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 sending funds. You know the Hobo Depot is 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 it's amazing. It's an amazing place. It's not even that big. A lot of people come and go like, I thought it was bigger than that. It don't have to be that big. The heart of the, the Hobo Depot is big. The heart of the Hobo Depot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get, I, I get caught up, man, because it's, it's, it's a this is a great place. This is a, a watering hole for, for those who come to drink. That's what this place is. That's why I love it. Okay, guys, there you are. Once again, Shana Kaga, thanks for checking out my videos. Please subscribe, please like, please share. I don't even think I ever said, <clears throat> I don't even think I ever said share. <laughs> I said it today though. So please share, share, tell other folks. And I'll see you, out, see you guys on the next video from the Hobo Depot. I'm not here to use that. I'll see you guys on the next video from the Hobo Depot. Who did he told me to say that? All right, son. Shout out, Kaka. Peace out.